This is Wild Chronicles. I'm Boyd Matson. Deep in southern Namibia, Fish River Canyon's empty splendor fills the eye. Only the Grand Canyon in the United States is larger. This canyon was once home to a variety of animals. Rhinoceros, cheetah, oryx. Then came the modern era. Shooting for sport, for food, and to make room for livestock, hunters killed nearly all of the big game in the area. Now, one woman is working to bring the region back into balance. Rarely far from her leopard companion, Kimu, Natasha Bateau has committed herself to repopulating the lands near Fish River Canyon. To me, it's important to relocate animals here because um, I would like to see this land go back to its natural state. To help with her mission, Natasha has enlisted the help of Ulf Tubessing, one of Namibia's top veterinarians. It's a very sensitive habitat, very sensitive ecology, very, very balanced plant life. And our entire aim is to just re-establish that ecology and that ecosystem as it used to be. First, the prey. That's fine. Springbok, which easily adapt to the landscape. Hey, hey. it's a whole new world out here. Mm -hmm. Then, the predators. Ulf and Natasha set free a cheetah family. This is a very exciting project to come back to a place year after year and start seeing more and more animals roaming around and having the sensation that just about every wild animal that you see can be put in here. Now they're going to try and capture and move the world's tallest animals, giraffes. They stand a full 18 feet. They see better than any game animal in Africa. And if giraffes don't like what they see, they can gallop away at 35 miles an hour. Settlers eradicated Fish River Canyon's giraffes long ago. But 400 miles north on the Ukapuka Ranch, they are thriving. In fact, there are too many. The team has been given 12 hours to fill a trailer with animals for relocation to the Fish River Canyon. Even with the help of several wildlife relocation experts, it's hard work. Using a pneumatic rifle, they shoot a tranquilizer dart into a large male giraffe. Bingo. But the animal bolts. His pursuers press hard, knowing that each second counts. They must keep the enormous head up. Otherwise, the giraffe could choke to death. A dose of antidote rouses the dazed animal. Earplugs and a mask calm him down. Fortunately, giraffes tend to be mild-mannered and can adapt to captivity with ease. Hobbles and harnesses help move the giraffe into the trailer. After a long day at Okapuka, the team has captured two giraffes and begins the long and dusty journey home. Congratulations, no, you are the no, owner of no, one no, bull. <laughs> 20 hours later, Natasha guides the team to the release site in Fish River Canyon. This is the spot, yes. Look at those big trees. So there's a lot of moisture in the leaves. You can see how nice and lush green the trees are. It has all the right stuff. Life-sustaining water, acacia trees for food, and no rifles in sight. A little more. Okay. They're gonna turn around and kick, eh? You gotta watch it, eh? They can be nasty. I'm always very happy that the animal come here in good shape and 
uh, when you can take them out of the truck one by one and you see them full of life and, and bouncing around and running, running away, you know, okay, that's, that's wonderful. Perhaps they will breed. And this landscape will have the start of a new giraffe herd. Whatever happens, Natasha is certain she's doing the right thing. We do it to live something for the future that is going to matter and make a difference. Check for Wild Chronicles on your local PBS station. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines.